<laughs> it's been like a coaching circus with uh, coaching changes and stuff. I'm not sure if I saw more excitement around anybody being added to the staff than when they announced that you were joining the staff here. In your eyes, what is it about you that had everybody so excited? <laughs> well, um, I, you know, we've, I've had a little bit of success, um, and that all is in credit to the players that I've coached and um, the different places that I've been. Um, you know, and I grew up in basically in Nashville, Tennessee, so this is near home. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm excited about what we have here in Memphis. It's excited to see everything they've built, how they're all into being successful. Um, and uh, the opportunity here I thought was a great opportunity to be in a top 25 program and win a lot of football games. So being from the Nashville area, you're familiar with the program. So from what you know about the program from the past to seeing where it is now, how exciting is it for you to be joining something like that right, right. now? It, it, it's real exciting. You know, there's a lot of coaches that have come before here at Memphis who were excellent coaches. If they had the same facilities that I'm seeing that we have now, which they wish they would have had then, um, they could make Memphis into what it has become. You know, Mike Norvell did a great job, and Ryan's going to do a great job taking it and, and continuing with it. So I'm excited about um, Memphis, the community of Mem Memphis, and also how they're all in to being successful in football. Out, uh, I guess, out recruiting players and like things like who's in the NFL yeah. and the different bowl games. Like how, how much of a tool is that and like important for you to be able to use that to tell that, that student athlete that this is where you, you want know, to be? All of these um, facilities are a big tool in recruiting. There's no doubt about it because they see that there's an investment to being successful. And then how they all the games they've won, you know, been the top ten winningest team over the last five years, one of the top ten winningest teams in the country. So winning football games is, is really big because if you come somewhere and you're going to put a lot of time and hard work and effort into practice, into weightlifting, into training, into sleeping, into sacrificing different things, you want to be able to win. And that's what they've been able to do at Memphis. So that attracts these young men to come be successful. So far I've asked all of the questions. Yes. So about you, your coaching philosophy, and just about a bit about who you are as a person and as a coach. Uh, well, in my coaching philosophy, uh, I uh, truly care about the kids uh, and uh, want to see them grow from boys into men with the vehicle of football because if they love something and they're diving into it, they listen to what we're saying. And so we can be an influence positively or negatively, and I hope I'm going to be a positive influence for them um, to grow. Um, you know, I believe football teaches you a lot of great things. Um, I believe football um, is a, a, a that can build character and reveal character because it's such a tough game. It's such a hard game. Um, it's such an emotional game um, that, that enables you to be able to help build character in, in young people. I think uh, the other thing that I, I you know. Um, my relationship with Jesus Christ is the most important thing in my life. And um, so I, that's something that I try to live out and, and try to do. By no, way, no way, in shape, or form am I perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But um, I, I love the game of football because I think it's the best team sport there is. And you, you, it's a group of individuals that have to come together as one and sacrifice different things to be successful. And it takes a lot of guys to be good. It doesn't just take one guy. It takes a lot of players. And I think that really be, builds team and builds selflessness. As physical as the game of football is, I'm sure more of it is mental. Mm -hmm. What do you do as a coach to keep your student athletes mentally focused on not just the game, but to just make sure they're doing the right things all the time? Right. And even in the game, a lot of outside distractions come to block all of that out for that time that you're on the field. Like, How do you help keep right. them mentally focused? I always go by the, I call them the four Fs, foundation, family, future, and football. Mm -hmm. And you have to put it in order. Mm -hmm. So you can't put football first, Fo football's the fourth. Because you have to establish yourself as a person and a foundation of making the right choices. I always tell them, you show me self-discipline and I'll show you freedom. And I think that's such a true statement because you're not bogged down by something or, or detained by something. If you have self-discipline and you're making the right choices, you're putting the right things in your body, you're making right decisions, you, you care about others, you put others first, you've got a chance to have a right foundation of making good character choices. The second thing is family. That's us coming together as a group of guys. Now, you can be on a team and not be a family. 
you got to know who they are. You got to know what their other your buddy's dreams and aspirations are. You got to know um, what they've been through, what a little bit of their life story, and that way you start caring about them. You start helping them achieve. Uh, future is what I call their academics, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and because that's why they're here. They're here to get their degree. They're here to find out what they're to mature themselves to be able to be successful in the future and have a work ethic and a work attitude. And then the fourth thing's football. So what I believe is that they're making great decisions foundation-wise as a character. They care about their teammates. They're doing well in school. When they come to football, they can be the best they can be. But if they're making bad decisions, they might not be on the football field. If they don't like their teammates, they're sure not going to be the best team they can be. And if they're not doing well in school, they might not ever get on the football field. And they're always bogged down about school. So understanding that you put all that for, and then you can be the best at what you want to be in football. So it, a lot goes into it, like you're saying. It's not just that I'm big and I can run fast. Okay, There's a lot of people that are big and can run fast. But how many of them can put everything in order, care about their teammates, work ethic, take care of their body, handle all the mental fatigue you're talking about, about people saying stuff about them? Um, that's when you really develop a young man. That's when you really develop a team.